Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about abstract models in order 16. Abstract models are generic models which usually doesn't get stored in the database, but we can use its functionality by inheriting the model. So as you can see, this is my custom module that I've created that is company management. And now let me go to the PY page of the custom module that I've created. So this is the PY page of the custom module that I've created and here I've given a class called test abstract where I've given it as models.abstract model and I've given the name of the abstract model as test.abstract and here also I've defined a normal model that is models.model .model. and I've given the name as company.employ and here I've defined some fields here so after giving the code let me run the code and as you can see that I've run the code you need to go to the UI and upgrade the custom module from the UI so I am I have upgraded the custom module from the UI here and if you go to the settings after enabling the debugging mode you can easily see all the models that are available in the Odoo 16 by here you have the feature called models so let me just click on it so once you click on it you can see all the models that are created in Odoo 16 so if you just type in the model that you have just created for a custom module so I'll just type in the model name okay I'll just copy the model name from here so the model name is company dot employ and now you can see the model here that is created and you can also see the abstract model so I'll just copy the abstract model that I've created and if let me just go to the UI and I'll just paste the model name here so you can see the abstract model in the UI here that it is created but now let me go to the backend that is the PG admin where all the data and the tables are stored you can just I'll just show you that as you can see that I have written a query to get all the data from the abstract model that is test abstract here so this is the database that I have logged in so I'll just run the query here and now we can see that it shows an error that the abstract model is not visible here As you can see that the abstract model is, does not exist, you can see the error here. So let me just search for the model that is the company that employ. So I'll just give the model here. That is company underscore employ. And I'll just run the query here. So let's give the name and now you can see that all the fields that you are defined in the company that employ as there is no records you cannot see any records here. So this is because that you have created the abstract model in the PY that the values in the abstract model doesn't get saved in your database but you can use the functionalities of the abstract models by inheriting the abstract models so we have discussed about the mixin class so as we you can see that here there is a mixin class that I have defined so we can use this mixin class and inherit this mixing class in other models in order to use the functionality of abstract model so we have defined and we have explained the functionality of the mixing class and how we can extend a model using a mixing class in a separate video and the link will be in the description 
so i'll just go to the ui so this is the abstract model in odo 16 that's all for today thank you